we will be covering Quake's remastered version for PlayStation 5. Just look at this. Look, look, what games do these nowadays where you're trapped like that, have nowhere to go? I'm going to talk to you about why this should be one of your top PlayStation 5 games to get. And best horror games, if not one of the best horror games to play. So first and foremost, like look at this. Like there's instances, and what sets this apart from the competition is that it's different and you can interact with the environment and you know do things that are out of the norm as opposed to where you have to basically keep like progressing ahead and move forward and you have to do things in a structured way in a normal game. Whereas this game you can jump off the platform and skip from point A to point B and finish the game sooner. When it comes to characters like enemies, it's the suspense, it's the thrill, it's the strategic maneuvering that you have to do. Like for this game, depending on what difficulty you choose, you have to literally think of one step ahead of time. Like with this guy, you have to, you know, time when he's about to attack to avoid his wrath and everything. And for this one, it's cool. It's it's different. What makes Quake different is that each level is different. It's not like bland and always different in different unique scenarios and look at this look at how much detail the developers gave back to the gamers just look at that it's we're literally in space and this is awesome and with the playstation 5 remastered version everything looks a lot better obviously so depending on what settings you put it to then that's up to you if you're old school you can adjust the settings for that there are power-ups, and there are such as this one, which give your weapon a boost against enemies, make you invisible, and so on and so forth. And what I like most about Quake is that it kind of has like that Doom feel to it, with the enemies attacking each other, and you can like you know hide behind an enemy and you can hope that the enemy behind that one attacks you, causing that enemy to get in a view with them. So, uh, one of the things that sets us apart from the rest, too, is the fact that there's there's some music, but it's just the environment feel. There's eerie music in this that's unsettling. The environment kind of feels dark. It kind of feels like, you know what it feels like? It feels like, like, a, uh, like a gothic feel to it more than anything. Now, the environment moves like this one shown here, and that's what sets this game apart from the rest. It's different. And you get to encounter some weird and bizarre things. Like these swords. Like these swords out of nowhere just start attacking me. There's no background in them, only the fact that they have skulls on their swords. So, this game overall is very entertaining to the point where you get to where you want to sit back and kind of just enjoy the show. You, There will be times where you encounter things like that, such as now. And this too. It's quite funny actually. And you just kind of wonder yourself like, okay, who's gonna win? And then that's that. So overall, if you're looking for something that has brutality, that's interesting, that's challenging, that'll always keep you on your toes, and have a different feel to it, be scared a little bit too, and overall awesome, this game is for you.